say, ah. The new health care law could mean more than 30 million Americans will flood the health care system. And there aren't enough primary care doctors to keep up. It really is a re-engineering of the entire health care system. Dr. Gerard Clancy is the president of OU Tulsa. And uh, now uh, the question is, can our health care system uh, absorb that many more newly insured individuals who will be seeking out primary care? More than 600,000 Oklahomans are uninsured. Dr. Clancy doesn't expect all of them to pick up a health insurance plan. If we can put all these systems in place and we can still keep health care affordable, yes, it's better because more people will be getting care that right now we've got a lot of people on the sidelines who aren't getting care. Dr. John Schumann is an associate professor of medicine. He's training more than 50 doctors right now. I'm happy with the turnout in terms of the fact that they uh, upheld the law because I think it's really going to give a chance for people who aren't who don't have insurance to get uh, to be able to get health care. I think that's really the fundamental thing. He says these changes won't happen overnight. You know, I think the day-to-day -day impact right now won't really be seen. You know, until 2014, when I think the vast expansion of Medicaid goes into effect. So I think for now, there's going to be a lot of politicking back and forth about you know repeal versus not repealing.